Hello, welcome back again. So, this episode we're going to work on the southern area again, I believe is what I suggested. So first of all, I'm going to buy a new, stuff, a new area, so that's going to be this one here. I reckon it's got forestry, it's got farmland, it's got, some, it's got a bunch of oil, and it's got the freeway running through it. So let's do that. It's also where all of our wastewater is going, so, yeah. <coughs> it means we can move those water out, the outflowing water things, all the way down to the bottom here to get them away from, well, the residential zone, which really probably doesn't like them too much. So that'll be a helpful thing as well. So, first things first, let's get the water. Okay, so we're drawing capacity on the water treatment plants, which are coming to anyway. It's 160, and our flows is 120. So, just going to move these ones. to start they're going to be away from there and so that would mean that this water along here is going to clean up soon enough which will be handy so let's get water to the area we're going to expand which is just this area in here for now We'll put the piping in for when we expand on this side as well. We've got money, that's not fun. So that I make some money and can pay for my piping. Mostly over this cold that I've had, which is handy, but uh, it's still got a tickly cough. This new area down here is going to be a fairly square, um, fairly square, high density residential zone that uh, will have some slip lanes onto and off 
the freeway, but no um, the main interchange area for it will be through the roundabout up in up higher and south. And hopefully, these slip lanes don't decide to um, get too busy. And doing this, of course, whilst I'm short on funds means that I just have a bit of a wait in between each bill. So this will be the last of the road that way. I'm going to connect them all up on each end, and then I'll have a road through, um, straight through somewhere near the middle. And I reckon there'll be two roads through. We'll probably do them 10 in from each end, uh, 20 in from each end. So that'll give zones of 20, 20. is actually connect it to uh, the existing network, um, which I think would do one at each end. Actually, I'll do it from each of the things because why not? I'm not going to zone the in-between area. those rocks as well, as much as they're nice features, they uh, aren't really what I want in a nice block area like this. Uh, let's zone that area anyway, it can be deleted later. Traffic. Uh, 
traffic in and out of it rather than uh, any other issues. They did break up the uh, blockiness of everything though because of where they come in. A bit frustrating, but oh well. Um, next thing to do is look to see what the broken up. and we'll have the fire in the middle and we'll have a park all to provide to everything around the outside and I think that's a good way of doing these nine block things you have eight blocks of high density and one block in the middle of them with surfaces and it's back to waiting for money just to uh, speed this all up because it's not like I can't afford to be paying them back let's grab both of them space there for. This space over here will probably end up having like a metro station in it or something and that would be all the services that the area requires. I think. 
I'm pretty sure that with these, this is over servicing for sure, having one of these sort of blocks every nine, but having one in every, having two of each around them, it's probably a little under. So, yeah, overkill, underkill. Better to be over servicing than under, I think. Uh, yeah, so we've got slow growth happening at the moment, um, plenty of money, um, taxes are at 9, I could probably put them to 10, but I really want the taxes to stay low so that I can uh, increase, have better uh, economy, have a better flow of people coming in. Yeah. So in this up, this high density area is fairly sparse at the moment, and this one's brand new. Uh, what else did I say I was going to do this session? I was going to build this. I was going to modify this park so it went all the way out to the water. And wow. up that because I'm pretty sure they don't have power all the way down here. Yeah, that's their problem. They don't have power. Duh. Whose genius idea was that? will come over the top of things. This uh, display up the top here is very useful for catching those things, I just didn't look at it. <laughs> and now we're back down to having only 11 sewage. That'll go away hopefully. Should be zero sewage. to one of them. Let's build an extra one of them just to be sure that I've got enough coverage. That's three little, uh, that should get rid of that. And I mean I don't have to do them for a while. What's that final? I'm educating everyone. But, uh, anyway, let's get back to this park expansion that I was looking at doing. Park area. Drag this one straight up to the water. for the water side stuff that that part type gets. And then I'm going to paint the other part. Um, which the edges obviously will need sorting out, but uh, uh, this will be the uh, next part land that I do. 
might actually end up being called power arc with the power lines that it's going to have, the power pole. The, uh, I'm really struggling with the words today, with the um, wind turbines that it has throughout the northern area. people coming across here may end up going through two parks to get from northern suburbs work home to work in the forestry. So that'll be fun for them. moment you can cycle in from this side without paying, you can't uh, leave from the residential area without paying to get in. So that'll be uh, so close to four. So we'll get there this session I reckon. Um, maybe. So what have we got? We've got uh, nature and we've got a normal. So what part do we want over here? I reckon we might put a... I don't really want to zoo between two industrial areas. I reckon we'll just go for a regular park. Again, because your second regular park can be much, um, much better, much uh, it's quicker to build up because you already have everything unlocked. So let's put the main entrance there. Windmills. Uh, 
building at the same height. So that's that new pipe built, and uh, it's got it's it's got a visitor a week, which is not great yet, but it'll grow. It doesn't need to grow quickly. It's gonna get better. What did we want to call it? This was Power Park. Uh, policies. It's gonna have an advertising campaign. Don't have a problem with celebrations because it's over in an industrial area. Let's just leave it at that. That'll do for now. <coughs> Interchange park is. Yeah, we'll keep going until it hits 5,000, and that'll be the end of this this session, I reckon. Um, got some. This one's being emptied. This has got 31 trucks running at the moment, but there's probably traffic issues holding them up. How's this one here doing? It is not too full, but it's got relatively no trucks in use. Which, not really helpful. And all these places have garbage to pick up. Why it has no trucks is a mystery to me. Um, I'm going to look at the budget. Garbage is at 100% because I don't have it set to automatically do anything because it doesn't work too well, I don't find. So I don't know what's the problem there. But there's garbage, lots of garbage. Everywhere. I suspect these, this bridge and this bridge is when it comes to the distribution of garbage trucks. I suspect that they're getting trapped in traffic a lot. I'm not quite sure what the problem is with that. Though they are both flowing a bit better than they were before, this is still a bit of a nightmare. And why people aren't just zapping all the way around the roundabout, I do not know. Let's have a look at the uh, 
they in Indians. Uh, but maybe they can't get out from that left lane on that entry there. Which is not a great idea. So let's remove these restrictions and see what happens. Especially that restriction. Which we won't be able to see the results of for a little while because um, there's a lot of traffic. Same thing over here. We might just remove that one there. that will be proof that there's something fixed to this. if they just keep going off like this that's an ideal roundabout setup I really need them to be able to change lanes in the middle here That's something to look into and sort out next time around. Uh, Interchange Park has managed to make it to four stars. So let's close off that. Uh, ooh, four stars. It's got uh, 5,000 visitors to go on until lane five. The next episode looks like I've got a garbage problem that's getting out of hand to sort out. It's not flowing freely. Um, and I'm using um, and yeah, sounds about all that I've got left to do next time around. And then expand, maybe expanding commercial, the commercial CBD area over this side. Uh, maybe even putting a zone over it and calling it the CBD would be handy. Um, yeah, but so until next time. This has been Wavely C. Bye.